Good morning, 47. Your target is Joanne Bayswater, a rogue assassin banished by, how shall I put it, one of our competing agencies. For many years, she was one of their top operatives. However, her self-confidence led to arrogance, putting civilians' lives at risk. Her handler, believing she was becoming a hazard, brought it up with the board. Miss Bayswater did not take well to this betrayal and went out of her way to seek revenge on the one she felt had stabbed her in the back. Now she has broken free and set up her own business as a final insult to our client, destroying the natural order. They have made multiple attempts to get rid of her, but she is always one step ahead, and this is why they have turned to us. They might be too proud to admit it, but they need the best. One does not defy the gods without consequences. Good luck, 47. Good evening, 47. Welcome to Argentina. Joanne Bayswater is currently attending a party at Vinedo Yates to get clients for her new agency. Bad for our client and bad for us. Unfortunately, we were unable to obtain an invitation for you, so you will need to be creative. And remember, Ms. Bayswater is a professional. She knows that mingling in the crowd keeps us safe. Good luck, 47. Sorry, sir. Oh, it's just that one of Yates' clients is arrived. Venidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. It's the damnedest thing. That is Joanne Bayswater, rogue assassin. She is one of the best, and it You're is a mystery a that she has never been on our radar sir. until now. You need to be careful with this one, 47. Line around. You need to go and pick it oh, up. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm a professional, okay? Yes, yes. Figures. Huh. 
Target eliminated. The money is being wired to your account, 47. Now head towards an exit. Okay, you stay here. Sure. Hey! So, what's your take on Tell me you did him up. Tell me you did him up. Okay. Yo, of Kronstadt. I dare say, congratulations. Good evening, 47. Your target is Sully the Crusher Bowden, a former middleweight champion. Known for his short temper and sudden bouts of rage, he has always been a ticking time bomb. Unpredictable and unruly in the ring, he finally crossed the line when he killed an opponent during a match. He showed no signs of remorse and was found guilty of first-degree manslaughter. However, he managed to flee the country and has since been on the run, making a living setting up illegal fight matches that are closer to death matches. Bowden has a lot of blood on his hands. The grieving family of the victim have reached out to us for closure, and after an extensive search, we've tracked him down in Chongqing. They want to have done to him what was done to their son. An eye for an eye, 47. Good luck. Sully the Crusher Bowden is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and taking illegal bets. The event takes place tomorrow night, so this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, 47. Gotta be good if what you're saying is true. I never did that. Since the meals have they up the crazy lately? Well, at least someone is trying to help them out. There's this building where oh. I've seen them go. I think they help them out.
figures. Man, we might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. That is Sully Bowden, a.k.a. The Crusher. Middleweight champion with, let's say, a taste for sweat and blood. Morning 47. Your targets are Jack Rowe, aka Jakob Rowe, the charismatic celebrity chef specializing in new Nordic cuisine, and his partner in crime, Robert Burke, a well established embalmer. The unlikely duo have been secretly working together in a diabolical scheme that could only come from a gothic novel. They have set up a rather bizarre business where, let's just say, nothing is off the menu. However, our client, a celebrity who wants to remain anonymous, has somehow come across the shocking truth of Mr. Rowe's secret ingredient and managed to connect the two together. Embarrassed and disgusted, they have not been able to go to the authorities as this would most likely lead to further scandal. So, they have turned to us. It's time to put an end to this ghoulish madness. Good luck, 47. Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. These men are truly diabolical. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Life can be tough sometimes. Alexa, back from the dead. A make-believe funeral. A murder mystery. Oh, it's all too much. Don't... Huh? Disturbance.
that is Jack Rowe, aka Jakob Rowe, a celebrity chef who has cashed in on the Nordic cuisine bandwagon and has succeeded. His recipes might be bold, but he is a charlatan, if there ever was one. Target down. It's not over yet, 47. One more to go. Huh? Come on. Something fell to the ground. I'm checking it out. God, I feel sick. Sorry, let me through. Oh, oh. Ugh, I don't think I can hold this down for long. Targets eliminated. Find an exit. Your money is being transferred now. Look closer. In the shadows, behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand 